I can hardly believe it. It's almost too good to be true. Mother went to the store and she bought me a book full of lots of empty pages I can do things to. If I want to draw a wiener sausage or a picture of a beautiful day or list my favorite colors and foods, anything I want is a-okay. Cause it's my top secret personal beeswax. The whole wide world according to me. I'll call it top secret personal beeswax and keep it under lock and key. I'll take my top secret personal beeswax and put it in this diary and call it top secret personal beeswax. The life and times of Junie B. Well, maybe if you're nice, I'll share it with you. Let's see. Where should I begin? My name is Junie B. Jones. For Beatrice. Hey, Beatrice. Except I don't like Beatrice. That's why she's Junie B. She was named after the month of Junie. The month of Junie, that's why they call her Junie B. If I could have a different name, I think it would be Pedro. It would be huh? Let's talk about Junie B. I live in a house with mother, daddy, and baby Ollie, and my pet dog, Tickle. That's Junie's family. They are fascinating people, except for baby Ollie, who is not the sharpest tool in the barn. I go to the Clarence somebody or other elementary school, and I am very busy getting ready for first grade. I've got new crayons and new stickers, and a new pencil with a teddy bear eraser on top. Now all I need is some adventures. Look at all these pages waiting to be filled. I have to say the pile is very tall. Ask me how I'm feeling. I'd have to tell you, wow! How will I find a way to fill them all? Oh! It's a wonderful feeling. In happiness, I might just drown. Tell me how can you help smiling smile after smile When you take stories of your life and you write them down If I want to tell a knock knock joke I know the perfect place it can go When I think my latest brilliant plan I take my favorite crayon and let ideas flow I'll call it top secret personal beeswax A fascinating history Top secret personal beeswax And if you're nice I'll let you see I'll call it top secret personal beeswax The life and times of Junie B Top secret personal Top secret personal Top secret personal Top secret personal beeswax Written by me No, thank you. You have nothing to worry about, Junie B. You're gonna love first grade. It seemed like just yesterday we were all at kindergarten graduation. That was the time of my life, I tell you. Except I have a feeling this year is going to be a whole new ball of wax. I am very worried. Oh my gosh, 
Oh my gosh, it's Lucille! Lucille, my bestest friend from kindergarten last year. Lucille, Lucille, it's me, Junie B. Your bestest friend from kindergarten last year, Junie B. Jones. I am so glad to see you, friend. Stop it, Junie B. Stop it. You're wrinkling my new skirt, and this thing cost a fortune. There, good as new. Come on, Lucille, let's go find two desks together. I think we should near the door. Want to? Huh? If we sit near the door, we can stare at people who walk down the hall. No, Junie B. No, I'm going to sit at this desk right here. I already picked it out with my two new friends, Camille and Chenille. Twins. Twins, they're twins, Lucille. This is our lucky day. Come on, Lucille, quickly, let's go touch them before a line forms. Stop it, Junie B. Camille and Chenille don't want to be touched. And besides, I am their new best friend, not you. Yes, but I can be their best friend along with you, right? All I have to do is meet them, right, Lucille? Then all of us can be bestest friends together. No, Junie B. I'm sorry. You and I have already been best friends, remember? We were best friends for a whole long year. And so now it's time for Camille and you'll get a turn. It's only fair of me. And besides, their names rhyme with mine. Lucille! Camille! Chenille! Yeah! Doesn't that sound marvelous? Lucille! Camille! Chenille! Junie B. Jones! It totally fits over the ball. There's nothing I can do. Huh? Once upon a time, we were friends fabulous. Friends fabulous, friends fabulous. There were never two friends who were closer than us. Closer than us, closer than us. What do you mean a friend that rhymes? Tell her, everyone. Look at those girls walking down the street. Lucille, Chanel. Who are the girls that you'd like to meet? Lucille, Chanel. But nothing rhymes with Junie. I say first grade is a flop. Last year, I had two bestest friends. First, I had Lucille. Plus, also I had that Grace. Me and that Grace rode the school bus together every single day. Only too bad for us, because this year Grace got put in a different room than me. And that was not even fair. But on the bus, we could sit next to each other, just like we always did. Hi, Lucille, can I sit here? Hi, um, I'm gonna leave, bye. Bye. Grace? Excuse me, Grace. What kind of shenanigans do you call this, madam? Don't you see me sitting here? 
Yes, hi, Jimmy D, and I'm sorry, but I can't sit with you today. I promised Baba G. Piper I would sit with her today, okay? No, Grace, not okay. You can't sit with Bobby Jean Piper. You and I must sit together every single day because we sat together every day last year and this year shall be no different. Please sit down, Junie B. You got yelled at. Grr, Bobby Jean Piper, grr! <coughs> Who is laughing at me during this very terrible crisis? Herb! He said grr. That was a good one. Yeah. Only here's the problem, Herbert. Grr is not actually a joking matter. Plus, I was not even talking to you. I know you weren't talking to me. No one on this bus ever talks to me. That's because last year I went to a different school, so I don't have any bus friends yet. Well, I used to have a bus friend named that Grace, but today I am dropping her like a hot tomato. You mean potato. Bobby Jean Piper wears a diaper. <laughs> Sit down, Junie B. Maybe just for today, I can sit here, just until your bus friend gets back, I mean. If you want to sit here, I suppose that that might be all right. If you want to sit here, I suppose that I will be polite. First grade makes you tired. Why not sit a while? I will take the window seat and you can have the aisle. Herbert, you're a nice boy and I think that I will have to say. You can be my friend just for today. Let me check my date book, right now I'll look through it. Let's see here, it looks like that tomorrow I could do it. If you can't, no problem, I was going bowling anyway. We can make some plans just for today. There's a great big sandbox at the park. I am very but if you find you're busy, then of course I understand. There's a brand new dinosaur museum. Gee, I've never been. How is Thursday afternoon? Oh, Mark, are you in? What's your Friday look like? I was thinking maybe we could meet. Share some milk at lunchtime if you want to, I can save a seat. How about a weekend? Herb, that would be heaven. Patronary tournament that's starting at 11. Herbert, I would love to! I mean, that's a game I love to play. And you can be my friend. You can be my friend, you can be my friend. Well, this is my stop. See you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow. And Jeannie B? Yes, Herbert? Go! I think I'm going to like this, Herb.
first grade journal. Okie dokie, I guess things are getting a little better, kind of, cause I'm getting to know the kids in my class. There's Bossy Head May. Well, if it isn't you again, Junie Jones. B, 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 you are always forgetting my B. That is not acceptable, sister. And Herb, and Grace, and Josie. Hola. Huh? Oops, hola means hello in Spanish. I speak two different languages, and sometimes I forget which one I'm speaking. Wow, Josie, you speak two different languages? Cool, big deal. I know Spanish too. I can count all the way to three in Spanish. Does anyone want to hear me? Not really. Not me. Uh -uh. Me neither. No. Nope. nope. Uno, dos, tres. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Mrs. Scary. Scary. This morning, I have a fun assignment for you. I want you to read these words to yourselves. Then, without talking to your neighbor, choose anywhere from the list and draw a picture of it. Oh, goody, goody. I love this kind of assignment, Mrs. Scary. I am perfect and not talking to my neighbor. That's nice, mate. All right, everybody, are we ready? Go. Hmm. Hmm. Batman coat, ice cream cone. Which one shall I choose? Cat ball boat, starfish clock. No time left to lose. Sun sky down, dark cow moon. Plate and fork and knife and spoon. Coot. Con. But. Cluck. Why do I feel sick? Mine will be the best in town. Shh. Time is up for drawing. Wait a minute. Cool, bat and ball. And Josie, you drew an ice cream cone, didn't you? Wait a minute. Si me gusto helado. Yes, I like ice cream. Oh, May, what a special clock you drew. The big hand has five fingers. That is very unusual. Yes, I created it myself. Plus, clock was the hardest word up there. I bet I'm the only one who knew the word clock, I bet. Clock? Oh, Jimmy B, don't you want to show me what you drew? Don't you want a gold star for today? No, thank you. I really don't want a gold star for today. But thank you for asking. I'm sorry, Jimmy B, but I really do need to see what you drew. I need to make sure that you understood the assignment. <sighs> oh, wow, Jimmy B. What a wonderful picture of a... A screaming chicken? You know, cluck, cluck, cluck! See, I even used capital letters for the clucks. Capital letters are for screaming, correct? Well, yes, I suppose so. But the thing is, cluck was not on the board. Well, what about butt? Bull? Coot? Ute? Possibly the worst thing that could ever happen to a first grader. 
is even more than the eye patch, because eye patches look kind of cute and piratey. But glasses! I look like a nitwit. Don't worry, sweetheart. You look absolutely adorable. But what if no one likes me anymore? What if I go to room one tomorrow and they all laugh their heads off at me and think I look like a goonie bird and no one wants to be my friend? Junie B, there's more to friendships than what you look like. Tell that to Lucille. What? Never mind. It's no use. I'm done for. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. We gave a great big yell. It's time for show and tell. my mind. What's wrong, Junie B? What did you bring? Huh? Stop whispering to Herb, Junie B. If you don't shush right now, I'm going to tell the teacher. No, you shush, you shushy head May. I'm not even bothering Herbert. For your information, I was giving him a hint about my new glasses, and that is none of your beeswax, sister. You have glasses? <laughs> Look, it's her glasses. Junie Jones brought her glasses for show and tell. And ha, they're purple. Junie Jones has purple glasses and she looks really cool. Cool purple glasses, Junie B. Wow, do you have x-ray vision or something? I don't actually know, Herbert. Possibly. Whoa. Whoa, how do your eyes do that? Your eyes must be very special. Tres, tres, special. That's French for very special. It must be cool to see the world through your eyes, Junie B. Yes. So cool. That's amazing. Yes, that's pretty. grade journal. Yesterday, my glasses were a hit. But today, Daddy said to watch baby Ollie. Watch him do what, I ask you. He hasn't really learned how to talk yet, so I'm not sure what use he is. Plus, also, he smells like stink. Junie B, did you check the kitchen table this morning? No. Your mother and I got something for you. Just for me? That's right, just for you. Just for me and not for Ollie? Just for you. Go ahead, take a look. Wowie, wow, wow! Lunchbox. 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 My heart is bouncy as a bowl of jello. jello. The sun is shining like a whole new yellow. yellow. I can't believe such an amazing thing happened to me. Ba, 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 ba. Came down to breakfast soon as I was able. able. And then I looked upon the kitchen table. table. And when I looked upon the table, what did I see? Show us your knee I jumped in the air and I danced with my dog. Cause my mama placed an order in a catalog and now. Lunchbox. Baby's got a brand new, baby's got a brand new, baby's got a brand new lunchbox. Hello, 
people, it's time to watch me eat out of my brand new lunchbox. Herb, hey Herb, what do you think you're doing? Why aren't you coming to eat lunch with me? I'm buying your lunch today, Junie B. Me too. Everyone's buying lunch today, Junie B. I was not actually expecting this development. Hoagies are very popular, only I'm not allowed to eat them. I'm allergic to fake meat and cheese. Please wipe your nose. I'm only allowed to eat food that comes from nature. Also, I'm allergic to dairy. Blow, and I mean it. <laughs> hey, Herb, is that a cookie I see? Uh-huh. I didn't get a cookie at all today. My mother packed me a fruit bar instead. Oh, well, uh, fruit bars are good too, I guess. Yes, Herbert. I know fruit bars are good, but I really wanted a cookie today. So I wish you'd just share that thing with me, and that's all. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Mmm, yum. These taste just like the cookies Miss Gutsman used to bring to afternoon kindergarten. Who's Mrs. Gutsman? Who's Mrs. Gutsman? Who's Mrs. Gutsman? Gladys Gutsman, queen of snacks. Ah. Classroom, Gladys. Don't call me Gladys, dear. And first graders don't get cookies like kindergartners do. First graders get cookies when they buy their school lunches. Yeah, only what about the kids who bring their lunches? Where's our cookies, huh? Because today everyone got a cookie except for me and Shelby. And so pardon me for asking, but what are kids like me supposed to do? Hmm. 
How would you, Junie B. Jones, like to help me in the kitchen? You mean like, be the boss of lunch? <laughs> well, almost. If it's okay with your teacher, I'll have you send a permission slip home to your parents. Really? Really. elementary school kids. My name is Junie B. Jones and on today's menu we are proud to present tuna, <laughs> noodle, stinkle? What the heck is that smell? What you're smelling today is our lunch, Junie B. Well all I can say is P.U. That smell is not delightful. I'm lucky I brought my lunch today, aren't I? At least now I don't have to eat all that P.U. stinkle like all the other kids. Yes, ma'am. I know. My work here is done. Dear first grade journal, room one is still mad at me. After lunch yesterday, Miss Gusman brought bologna sandwiches for the children who didn't eat. They were not a hit. And so now Herbert is my only friend, and Josie and Shelby are being reasonable. I wish lunchtime never happened. Well, hello, children. Why, Why hello, Mrs. Gutsman. Mrs. Gutsman. Junie B. Jones is trying to hide from you, but do not worry, I'm keeping track of her movements. Thank you, Grace. Junie B., why are you sitting on the floor? I brought something for your class today. Don't you want to see what it is? No, thank you. I really don't want to see what it is, and so you can be on your way now, please. I brought something special for your class today, but there's no one here to help me pass it out. There are lots of children to help you. But I need someone with experience. All right, but some of these children are still very mad at me, you know. Yes, well, I think I can fix that. Sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. Sugar cookies! Thank you, Mrs. Gutsman, thank you! Don't thank me, class. Junie B. Jones is the one who reminded me to pay you a visit this year. She's the one you need to thank. Thank you, Junie B. Jones. Ready to go, helper? Ready to go. It's a wonderful feeling. The lesson that I learned here at school I may not be the boss of lunch But the boss of sugar cookies is pretty cool And though people sometimes goof things up And they goof things up again and again You can make things better with a great big sugar cookie or ten Oh, you can make things better with some Good friends Never saying stinkle And a great big sugar cookie or ten
啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。希望，希望，希望。Kickball, kickball tournament, kickball tournament, kickball tournament. The whole school's talking about the kickball tournament. On Friday noon, all the first grade rooms are breaking up into teams. We'll play some games and have some fun beyond our greatest kickball dreams. We're gonna kick near, we're gonna kick far, and someone's gonna get to be a kickball star. I'm gonna be the biggest kickball star in town. Kickball tournament. Kickball tournament. La 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 la. Kickball tournament. Ow! 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 Ah! Ah! What's wrong? My toe is wrong. My toe is wrong. Nine one one. Well, at first I was practicing my kicking. Then my ball went over the fence. What was I supposed to do then? Kick air? Then good for me, cause I saw your cow can, and I ran at him with all my might, and I kicked him as hard as I could. Only too bad for me, cause that stupid thing was filled with water. Now I've smashed piggy toe. The end. Gee, who would have thought a watering can had water in it? How unusual. Oh, who's kidding who, mother? All is lost. Everything is hopeless, and you can't fix it. How about this? I'll make you a special shoe for your toe, and it'll be, if you stay off of it, it'll be better in no time. But the kickball tournament is on Friday, and I was going to be the star of the whole thing. Oh, honey, no one can be a star all of the time. We can find something else for you to do, okay? No, not okay, not okay. I mean, okay. This is the special shoe mother made me with a piggy toe window in it. So everyone keeps trying to get a look at that thing. Shelby stretched her neck out way too far and she fell right onto the floor. Then she had to go to the clinic. Today is not a good day for either of us. Nobody touch this, please. Even though I came back to class today, I'm still not totally right up here. Oh yes, Shelby, I am very aware of that. Probably shouldn't play in the kickball tournament on Friday either. I'm sure we could come up with something else you can do in the tournament. You too, Genevieve. We'll come up with something else you can do, okay? Who cares about kicking a stupid ball? Anyway, I'm going to be the head cheerleader. Woo! Woo! Who would want to be a stupid old cheerleader? I'm going to do crowd control. I already have a badge at home, so now all I need is a big stick to poke people with. And a gas mask. I don't think crowd control will be necessary, May. Well, I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a halftime show. A halftime show? Yes, yes, because my daddy used to be in a high school band. And he already taught me how to march and play the cymbals like a real professional band girl. <laughs> Play as they shout, hip, hip, hooray! Then they'll all 
a bit busy. Well, can I at least play the cymbals? I can play the cymbals and sing happy birthday. I even know all the words. That's a great idea, Shelby. And speaking of ideas, Ginny B, how would you like to be in the halftime show? Gee, I don't know, Mrs. Scary. Yeah, my daddy has a woodblock you can borrow, or a tuba. This is not what I had planned. Junie B, are you ready for dinner? <laughs> I'm sorry you're disappointed about the halftime show. I hate that dumb tournament. I hate it. Please don't say hate, Junie B. But I was going to be the star of the whole thing. No one can be the star all the time, sweetie. But everyone will be cheering and clapping, and none of that cheering and clapping will be for me. And I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. You're getting very close to a timeout, Junie B. I hate timeouts. And so... I will stop that behavior this instant, Missy. Look, I understand it's no fun that you can't play in the kickball tournament, but when life gives you a handful of lemons, you need to learn to make lemonade. Huh? What's lemonade got to do with this? It's a saying, Junie B. When life gets a little sour, you need to learn to sweeten it up a bit. Yeah, right. When the road of life hits some boulders and bumps, dear, the strain of strike can keep you down in the dump. But I've got some advice that in my noggin has stayed. Mike gives you lemons, just make them my day. Think your time is through when you won't be a star. Never take for granted just how special you are. Stardom isn't over, just a little delay. When that gives you lemons, just make them my day. So? Daddy, you are juggling! That is a huge talent, let me tell you! Why, thank you, Jeannie B. Do you think you could teach me how to do that? Well, of course. Then good news, Mother and Daddy. I will juggle in Sheldon's halftime show, and I will be the star of the whole production. When a hope that's high seems to fall to the ground, find a way to turn your situation around. Life's more than a kickball game that doesn't get played, cause when life gives me lemons, I'll make lemonade. When life gives me lemons, oops. I think I've got it. I think I need a little more practice. Ready for the game! Teammates gonna win! Who get the kickball glory and fame? Get the fame! Who's gonna win? I don't care. I'm going to be out of the country. Thanks for being here. I'm looking for the fun. I'm so fine. Kickball tournament. One of a kind. Kickball tournament. Then you win, so. Woo! La 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 la. Kickball tournament now! Welcome everyone to the kickball tournament. On the Northfield, room one will play room two. 
Doing that, you are just bringing attention to yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you, Junie B. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I didn't learn to catch those dumb balls in time for the show. That's what's wrong. Well, don't you worry, Junie B. You're gonna play the wood block with me. I just love the sound of a good wood block. <coughs> There's nothing like it. Don't you agree? Good tournament, huh, guys? I haven't really been watching, Herbert. And I didn't learn how to juggle in time for the show. Well, you'll do great, Junie B, no matter what. Herbert is my friend. And while I'm definitely pretty sure I'm going to marry him one day, he just doesn't get it. Ah! Mommy! 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 I am doomed. people, for your listening enjoyment, I am now going to sing a very special song from the hit musical Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love me while I yawn. <sighs> tomorrow, you're only a di- Hey, are you people throwing food at me? At me, Junie B. Jones? Well, let me tell you something. Maybe I can't be the big star of the kickball tournament, but is that going to stop Junie B. Jones, people? No sorry, Bob. So go ahead and throw your apples, because I will take these dumb apples. And I will, I will. Did you see that world? I did it. I juggled. Junie B, honey, that was sensational. I did it, Daddy. I tossed these things in the air, just like you taught me. Oh, Junie B, we're so proud of you. Because I finally caught these things? No, because you practiced and practiced and didn't give up. Do you know what that makes you? Tired? No, silly. It makes you a star. A star? A superstar! First great journal. Oh no, I've come to the last page of my journal. Does that mean all my fun and adventures are over? Now what will I do? This is not a happy occasion. What's wrong, Ginny B? Oh, I'm sorry, Herbert. It's just too very sad to talk about. Okay. Oh wait, if you insist. Okay, I've come to the last page of my top secret personal beeswax journal. Do you know what this means, Herbert? What? It means all my fun and adventures are at their end, and that is depressing and glum, I tell you. 
But Herbert, what about your own adventures? There are no adventures without you, Junie B. Oh, Herbert. Are you coming? I'll be right there. I started the year with a book of empty pages. I had no idea what the future would bring. But I had some adventures, and I put them all in here. And good news, I learned the most amazing thing. In my insides, there's an avalanche of feeling. In my head, there is a pile of dreams come true. And if there's something that I need to say, there's a perfect way to share my point of view. And so I'm writing down the story of my life. I don't know where I'm going, but I know where I've been. I am writing down the story of my life. I've got destiny before me and a book to put it in. And so I'm writing down the story of my life. I could never choose the bestest thing until now. And I am writing down the story of my life. What makes me scared or nervous, what makes me sad or blue, I am writing down the story of my life. And the bestest part of all my friends is you can do it too. Your allergy to glue, a chew! How much you love your family, or what friendship means to you. A picture of spaghetti, or a lovely mountain view. No matter what you think, or dream, or feel, or say, or do, keep on writing down the story of your life. We don't know where we're going, we don't know what's in store. Keep on writing down the story of your life. And if you run out of paper, have a best friend bring you more. And keep on writing down the story. Keep on writing down the story. Keep on writing down the story. Secret personal beeswax, the fascinating history. Top secret personal beeswax, and if you're nice, I'll let you see. I'll call it top secret personal beeswax. The life and times of Juni B. Top secret personal. Top secret personal. Top secret personal. Top secret personal beeswax. Written by me, written by me, written by me. Top secret personal beeswax. <laughs>